Hey, do you remember when you were nine and really dumb? I don't exactly remember that long ago. Ever since the accident, my memory's been a little bit foggy. But when your parents were rolling up the window and you had your fingers out, so you'd quickly pull them back in, well, I've always wondered, could a window actually cut your finger off? Let's find out. Ah! Oh, it was just a carrot. It was just a carrot. Don't demonetize us, YouTube. In January 2009, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reported around 2,000 injuries and five fatalities caused by automatic power-operated window systems. Like someone cut their head off in a car window, or maybe like a kid. That's horrifying. Before getting to the finger, I kind of want to scale up, right? Like if it can crush a banana, it might be able to crush a finger. So let's get a banana. Maybe a sausage? Oh, definitely a carrot. Fruit isn't really a finger substitute, but we're not looking for a perfect finger substitute, just something that gives us an idea of the damage a window could cause. Bananas, much like Michael Reeves, have a tough exterior, but a soft interior. I don't think the window will cut through the banana, but it should do some damage. What if we like break the window in the car? <laughs> we're gonna use John's car because it's more of a straight ledge across, so it can just guillotine. What do you think's gonna happen? I think it's gonna just mush the banana. Oh, it's Taylor Swift playing, that's not good. Let's just cut right to the chase. Banana getting cut or mushed by window. I didn't make it go backwards, it detected that. No! I'm holding up still. It automatically detected like a current spike or something. A carrot being rolled up in a window. With this whole experiment is being foiled by this damn car. What? What do we do? The safety has foiled our plans, um, which I guess is a good thing, but it, it sort of feels bad. Confident in the German engineering of his own car, and in the name of science, cameraman John offers to sacrifice his fingers. Ready? Yeah, that was, did it hurt? A little, not really? Well, there you have it, guys. We'll see you next time when we do another stupid video that we spend a day on and then we go to experiment and it just doesn't work at all. Wow. A lot of thought was put into building cars. And I'm very grateful for it. But right now, I kind of wish. I cannot believe we've been foiled by a safety system. This is not okay. The German engineering of cameraman John's Jetta has proven to be way too safe. So let's switch back over to my American engineered car, the Ford Taurus. You see how this right here goes like much more of an angle so anything that's being pushed up is gonna get bent. Carrot on the American car. Yeah! Let's get some of that American lack of safety. All right, this, this one, I'm not sure either of us should put our finger in. Uh, let's go for the banana, or the neighbors must think we are absolutely insane. Oh, it just keeps going. It just, it just, it just doesn't care. This might actually break your finger. Sausage. Oh my god, it lopped it clean off. That was awesome. If you cruise around in an old Ford Taurus wagon, do not let your parents roll your fingers up in the window. What we need is to build something that represents a human finger. Did you know you can buy human bones on the internet? Check it out. Real human finger bones for the low price of 90 US dollars. If you ever wondered what the bones inside of your finger looked like, I think this is it. Whose bones are these? Back on the topic of buying bones on the internet. You can buy the bones of a child on the internet. That's not a joke. You can literally buy the bones of children. Like, do they kill the kids? Is somebody killing children for their bones? I don't know. In the end, it doesn't really matter because I got what I needed, and that is real human finger bones. They are much more brittle than live human bones. We need a better representation of the actual strength of a live human bone. Hey, nerds, I'm back with another scientific paper. Biomechanical test substitutes for bone. This paper suggests oak. The strength of oak versus the strength of bone, and tried to come up with an equivalent, and I probably didn't do a very good job, and I, I, this isn't conclusive, and I, I think I actually did a bad job, but I tried my best, and that's all that matters. Uh, is your ice cream machine working? Yeah. Could I get two cones? Do you want a cone? Okay. How often does it break once a week? I have to say twice. Twice a week it breaks? And then they clean it out a lot. She said it was literally just broken. <laughs> Conspiracy theory? Why is the McDonald's ice cream machine always broken? Here, do you want to spin? Oh, 
Thank you so much. Mm. Where did we leave off? Um, oh yeah, to simulate a human finger bone, we're going to use oak wood. Hard oak, what do you, there's gotta be a better. Oak dowel. The first thing we need to do is make a mold of my finger so we can cast the bones inside of ballistics gel. I've always wanted to play with ballistics gel. What is ballistics gel? It is simply gelatin. Like it's literally jello, unflavored jello. Alan Pan recommended a brand of synthetic ballistics gel, which is non-perishable. I think these zip ties might be a little too tight. My finger's starting to turn purple. And then to make the mold of my finger, we're gonna use alginate. I've never done any of this, so this is gonna be a learning experience. One part warm water. Wait, what does is, what is warm water mean? It's everywhere! It's on the computer! <laughs> ah! Making a mold of something small before going on to larger models, you'll gain a lot of experience. So this <laughs> Yeah, right. I don't need to do any practice. I'll nail it on the first try. This stuff like stick to clothes or does it come off pretty much everything? Alginate is a really inexpensive mold making material. It's kind of one time use, but it's so cheap that it doesn't really matter. We're going to mix the powder with warm water and then I stick my finger into a shot glass filled with the paste and it solidifies in about five minutes. Then I can remove my finger. What a weird feeling. It was like molting. I felt like my skin was shedding a layer. <laughs> and fill the mold up with gelatin. Just normal, ordinary gelatin you can buy from the store, except way less water than you'd normally use for a dessert, or I don't know, what else do you use gelatin for? It smells like a, like a gross soup. Gelatin is an animal byproduct, which is why it smells so weird. Kind of like a mild corpse smell. It's not great. But the idea is that gelatin at a certain temperature, I think around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, is a really good representation of human flesh. So if we can create a human flesh exterior with some sort of interior structure, like the oak dowel, we should have a pretty good representation of a human finger that we can crush in a car window. Look at this. It's worse than the first time. It exploded again. I made the same exact mistake twice in a row. Yeah, I think we ruined our clothes. Well, good thing this wasn't like a one of a kind hand painted t-shirt from a fan. How to clean alginate off my computer. Algae, no, alginate. Oh, oh my God. Look at the detail. This is awesome. Coward Tiger, open your hands. No, please, open your hands. What do you think it is? Well, I saw something in the fridge. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Is this your finger? Yeah. This is creepy. Does that freak you out a little bit? Oh, that doesn't, I don't like that. Come back, wait, no, Chelsea, wait, come back. Why? Did you do the bounce test? All right, American car, gelatin, ballistics gel. I think this window might actually break your finger. Synthetic ballistic gel finger with no bone. Wow. If you don't have any bones in your fingers, kids, you can roll them up in car windows and they'll only come out mildly bruised. Now, unfortunately, for those of you who do have bones in your fingers, let's see what happens when we roll your finger up in the car window. Yeah, it's not quite a scissoring action. Like it's bending it too much. As I sort of just slowly scoot the window up, you can see it just like turns vertical. This would still be really painful. Look, it, it's starting to like cut the skin now. I think this would mess your finger up, but we're not quite in a position to break it because of how the window closes. Caretaker is letting us try her car. You know how much car windows cost to replace, right? Wait, what the synthetic that? finger in Caretaker's car. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, that would totally break your finger. It snapped it right in half. It just kept going, it like powered through. In the medical industry, this is called bone sticking out of skin. Ah! Did you get that? That was awful. It like oh, exploded yeah. it. That sounded like a finger breaking too. Don't that was, a, your finger in that was a pop. Window. And it, the worst part is it automatically goes up Do too. Do I have like jello in my car? Probably. I can't believe the newest car of all the cars here was like the most dangerous. So I don't think this is gonna be conclusive. What it will show us though, is you don't wanna stick your finger in a car window. You think we'll do the center bone? We're gonna go for the, what do you call this? 
the, because uh, I'm thinking like a kid hanging their finger out kind of hooked onto the window. Real human finger bone, synthetic ballistics gel. Three, two, one. Didn't break, but it mushed the finger. Is it bad? Does it look gross on the outside? Oh, it ripped the skin off. At what point is it no longer a broken bone and just a severed finger? I think we might have found that point. Did it split the bone or is it, it, it just, it, it split the bone at the joint, but it just ripped the gelatin. We're gonna go for the big bone. Do we, do we have a name for these bones yet? None of us have any medical experience. This is the bottom of the finger, the largest bone we have. Synthetic ballistics gel, real human finger bone. Three, two, one. Ooh, that felt like a good, solid grab. I didn't hear a crack, but if it was gonna break it, that would have been it. I don't think you're gonna break your finger in a car window. Maybe an older car or a different, like a certain type of car. There you have it, fellow kids. Don't be sticking your fingers in your parents' window when the car is rolling them up. That didn't make any sense, but we're sticking with it. If you wanna win my human finger with 3D printed, is it mine or is it Cameron John? Oh, it's fine. If you would like to win my finger with 3D printed bone in it, leave a comment. We're gonna scrub the fingerprints off of it so you can't get into any of my very important safes. We'll see you next time. I really wanna go get a car door from a junkyard and jerry-rig it to just crack right through this. That'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. Hey, you wanna see a magic trick? Oh, I got your finger. Dad, are we there yet?